love your flowers there. It's my nod to Halston, who had yeah, our kids everywhere. And then the red jacket. For I know, the you're an Olympic tower, it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hi, how are you doing? Pretty good, how are you? I'm pretty well. So I have to tell you that you bring so much lust for life energy to the screen on Halston. Um, I kept waiting for you to appear in scenes because you bring so much positive <laughs> that's, radiant that's energy. Yeah. I'll take that as a good sign, yeah. <laughs> so tell me everything. What were some of your favorite moments from set? Um, well, I think one of my favorite things, not just moments, but the chance of being on set, it, it was just one working with so many wonderful people. It's, it's the fact that the director is amazing. Ryan Murphy is a person that I've been looking up since, you know, since years ago, everything he does, I feel like he does it with a purpose. He's trying to bring a message and, and I really admire that. And uh, so the director, Daniel Minahan, incredible director in person and uh, and then the rest of the cast like Ewan McGregor, Rebecca, Krista, David and, and the rest just everyone was so great to work with so we end up creating this family vibe we, we do feel like a family and that is probably one of my favorite things about the show that we always have fun on or off camera. <laughs> I love it. So some of my favorite moments of yours was your first meeting with Halston, of course, <laughs> to, you took charge. You're licking the uh, display windows. It was a great moment <laughs> that I loved. <laughs> and then you're waiting to hear your diagnosis later in the show is just so heartbreaking. And then the talk on the road as well. And then your reaction shots at the Montauk lunch were just priceless. <laughs> so take me through some of your favorite moments. Um, I... One of my, I think my very favorite scene that I got to do was the scene where I'm cooking for him, but I'm making arepas uh, because it's just such a, it was such a, just an, a, like a roller coaster, you know, it was ups and downs in that scene. He gets home having a long day and at the same time, I'm having an expectation, a whole different idea of how the night's going to go because I have a plan. And then he gets there and it's it's just it goes so differently it goes bad and then it goes it gets better and then it's bad and then it's better it's just it's uh, i love scenes like that you know where where you have an arc and you have many different changes but also besides that the fact that i got to you know bring the the, the arepas to the scene like be able to do the arepas be in venezuela and myself and be able to play a Venezuelan character and also be able to, you know, bring Venezuelan elements, like real Venezuelan elements and food and things like that and, and just cursing in Venezuelan and stuff like that to the, the screen. It was, it's very special to me and it's one of the things that I'm mostly proud of because I didn't grow up seeing things like that on TV. So the fact that fast forward to now where we're at there's a lot more inclusion and the fact that i can be part of that change and and that i hope that other kids in venezuela and just everywhere in south america they see themselves on screen and then they can do that you know that that makes me that makes me very happy and proud have you gotten feedback from people in venezuela yeah, yeah, they're very happy. <laughs> yeah, I actually got, I even got some comments of people that I don't even know. They, they, they've told me, dude, I was watching this with friends and, and then you turn around with the Venezuelan arepas and you said arepas venezolanas and then we all screamed like it was a, a sport game where somebody scored, you know, it was, that's very exciting for me. I love it. So going back to the show, what was it like collaborating with you and McGregor? He's amazing. He's really, really, really a great actor. He's, I, I admire his work for uh, years and, um, and being able to see him do that on set, you know, being able to prepare for every scene and being able to just bring everything he had to bring to the table and become the person, change, you know, change so many things about who he normally is to be this person and in body Halston, that was amazing. But also 
he's a really great person. He's a he's a cool guy. He's he's very humble. He's very down to earth. He's it it just felt like that that relationship you, you see in the show that chemistry it it it's not just for the show like we really developed that friendship so it and i kept telling him it just, it was just like working with a friend and that was it it was it was very cool and easy to work with amazing so other than the fans in venezuela what other audience reactions have you received <laughs> Uh, I mean, I've seen I've seen actually very different things. I've seen people reaching out from Brazil, people from Italy, people from um, India. It's 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 a little new for me to see all that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but all good things, right? Yeah, all great, all great. I think I'm I'm happy that people are liking the work that we put into it because we really did try to do 120 percent or more than you know just we we took it seriously every everything every person we're every character we're doing is a real person and we try to make sure that the way we did it people would feel like you're watching a real person and people would feel like you understand, not necessarily justify what they're doing, but you understand where they're coming from, you know? And that was, I think that was important, important for all of us. And have you heard from the real life Victor's family or friends? No, I haven't, uh, family, no, but I did meet up with uh, a very close friend of him in preparation for the role, actually, Daniel Minahan, the director, he was great enough to put me in contact with one of his friends. So I met him and he gave me so much information. I had so many questions. I have basically interviewed him and then he gave me so much information, uh, questions that I have about little things and important things and just like anything I could get. And uh, it was a very, very, um, important experience because I even got to uh, hold his Venezuelan passport, like Victor's Venezuelan passport, which was very surreal. And uh, yeah, so I, I, you know, I got a lot of, uh, that was, I think that was the most beneficial thing for me in the process of preparation. So what were some of the little things that you learned about him? Well, I asked like, what if there was anything he liked to eat? you know we all like to eat something constantly <laughs> and we don't get tired of it um i found out that he was really great at making pasta with pesto like he would make it and then uh elsa and you know the rest of the the friends that would ask him to make it and then i also found out that he liked chinese food from um the neighborhood like he would eat that you know whenever he could so I found out little things like that, but then I also found out big, big, like more defining, like persona defining things. Yeah, it was very helpful. That's amazing. So have you seen the show? What did you think of it? I've seen the show. I, uh, I, I honestly, I, I, I think it's so beautifully done. It's, it's just so elegant. I, I think Daniel did an amazing job because it's so stylish and it's so, it's an elegant show. It looks like an elegant, classy show, the way you see it, you know, and the way Ryan Murphy is used to making everything too, the, the, the way things, you know, the sets look and, and the, the, the clothes and the everything. And, um, and I feel like it's such a, an elegant visual project and, and classy about a very elegant, classy designer. And I think that's that's nice. I love the music. I love, love, love the music. It's like a whole different character. The design, the clothes are amazing. Jeriana did an amazing job with that. I just feel like everybody did such an amazing job and that uh, everybody really, really put a lot of work into it. And I'm, I'm very, very happy and proud to be part of such a special project. So what have you been watching lately other than Halston? Halston, I just watch Halston every <laughs> week. Uh, no, actually I've been watching uh, Game of Thrones because my mom has never seen it and my mom is visiting and she wanted to watch it. So I'm watching Game of Thrones for the second time. 
<laughs> what season are you on? How's it going? Six. We're in season six. Yeah. yeah. And what does she think? Oh, she's she's she loves it. She thinks it's good <laughs> writing because um because she was used to watching soap opera. So she thinks this is like a whole different thing. It's more, you know, their writing is more elaborated. It's not like something you just decide today we're gonna shoot this. It's like right. there's a lot of uh, mixing in the stories and just intrinsic stuff. Yeah. Amazing. Did you have a favorite character? Who, me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Cersei, because I always like evil people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know why. I, I, I've always liked seeing the supposedly bad person and try to understand them. So it makes me glad that people feel like I kind of did that with the show because, you know, people feel like I was supposed to portray a bad person, but then some of them tell me I hated you in the show, but I loved you. I love the way you did it. And some other tell me, I actually feel like you were just misunderstood. Like Victor was a misunderstood person and I, I really felt for him. That, make, that makes me happy. That makes me feel like I, I, I did the job that I was trying to do. How did you feel about Victor? What were your thoughts about him? I thought, um, I, so when I try to get into a character, I try not to judge the character because that's, like I said, my, my idea, my, my first intention is to understand it and find a way for people to connect with it and find a way for people to relate to it, to him. And uh, so with Victor, even though I felt like I read things that made him look like, you know, like, uh, like maybe he was the biggest problem Halston had. I, I, I disagree with that I, because I have to see him from his perspective. But um, also the fact that I got to play somebody that's, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, he's in, he was in the show, at least in the show, he's uh, an drug addict and a prostitute and an alcoholic and a party uh, addict and all of this stuff. But um, that is the type of things that I've been training to do. You know, I've been training as an actor because you want to go for things like that. You want to go for roles that are exciting. You want to go for a role where you play a drug addict, where you play a prostitute, where you play not holding. I just didn't know I was going to get to play all of them in one. <laughs> amazing. And I'm pretty happy it went that way. But, um, but yeah, it, it's just, it was just very liberating for me because um, I got to do a lot of things that I wouldn't really do in my normal life, you know? Yeah. Well, it's a tremendous performance. It's so fully layered and so fully lived. So thank you for that. Thank you. Very much. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. This was lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep up the amazing work. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.